Hey, what's up you guys? It's Deanna, your resident curly girl, and today I'm going to a water park. So I figured it would be the perfect time to show you how I protect my curls from harsh chemicals like chlorine. interested in how to take care of your curly hair over the summer I have a more in-depth video that I posted on my channel I think last week and I will post that in the description box down below if you want more in-depth information but in this video I'm just going to be showing you how to protect your curls from chlorine and other harsh chemicals that may be in the water during the summer months so the first thing you're going to do is take a spray bottle and wet your hair when I wet my hair, I use a spray bottle, and if you did not watch my video, I, my spray bottle does have some lavender oil in it. Now, lavender oil has a lot of great properties, and I talk about them in my video, which I will also link in the description down below. So once my hair is nice and wet, I like to make sure that the moisture is evenly distributed. And then the next thing that I do is I take my leave-in conditioner. I'm going to Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. And I like to take a healthy amount of this and kind of just distribute it through my hair. For those of you who do not know, curly hair is like a sponge and will absorb whatever you put into it, including harsh chemicals like chlorine. So what the leave-in conditioner does is fills in those pores and does not give the chlorine and harsh chemicals anywhere to go. Now when I do this, I'm making sure to pay special attention to my ends because they are the driest and most vulnerable part of my hair. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some oil. I like to use coconut oil because not only is it an oil, so it helps seal your hair and lock out any harmful toxins that may be in the water, but also coconut oil is really moisturizing. Now coconut oil can be a little stiff, so what I like to do is I like to warm it up. I can either do this by warming up some water on the stove and then placing it in a bowl with warm water, or if you're feeling a little more rambunctious, you can just place it in the microwave. So all you're going to do is exactly like you apply the leave-in conditioner, Take your coconut oil, put it on your hands, and apply it to your ends, and then throughout the rest of your hair, making sure to evenly distribute it all around your head. Alright, so the last thing that you're going to do to protect your hair on a beach day, on a pool day, whatever type of water day that you're having, is a protective style. So I'm going to French braid my hair and then I will be right back. All right, so here it is all done. Now, some of you probably don't know this about me, but braiding is not exactly my strong suit, but this is the best I could get. And this is how you are going to protect your hair from any harsh chemicals or pollutants or anything gross that may be in the water. This is your best bet. Now I hope this helped you out and I hope this will help you look cute and preserve your hair during the summer or anytime you go to any water park or beach day and if you like my videos if you like me please make sure to go down hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for when I upload a new video and while you're down there make sure to leave a like and any and a comment with any questions comments or concerns that you may have and I will see you guys in the next video bye